Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage and today is going to be another amazing day of working this W124-300E green slash blue metallic colored machine. So today I have a task to uh, replace the brake fluid on it. The brake fluid has never, I don't know when it was changed last, but it's super nasty. And I'm going to be doing that by myself using a hand pump vacuum. A uh, hand held vacuum pump, I should say. <laughs> but um, I don't have a helper today, so gonna do, be doing it by myself first step is gonna be to suck out the old fluid from the reservoir and fill it up with a new one using a turkey baster Okay, here's the fluid, and as you can see, super nasty, super dark, and horrible. So, definitely gotta change that. So, before you start doing anything with the brake fluid, put something around the area so, in case you spill something, you're not gonna damage anything, all right? It's really, this brake fluid is really bad and highly corrosive. So also have like a bucket of, uh, or, you know, jug of water, just in case you need to dump it on something, if you spill somewhere. Be very careful with this. Don't spill anything on the paint. All right, now with the turkey baster, you're gonna go ahead. Oh no. Well, that's not useful anymore. Anyways, with a turkey baster, you're gonna start sucking old fluid out. Oh my god, look at this. It's so weird. Now just be really careful. Use two hands. You're gonna put the rest of the bat fluid into the empty bucket. This thing is nasty. Holy cow. But yeah, keep doing that until you have an empty reservoir, and then you're gonna top it off with fresh fluid. So the reservoir is almost empty. I'm just getting all the rest of the droplets in there. Also, if you really want, you can take out the reservoir itself just power wash it too that's not a huge deal there's just two rubber seals and sometimes the sensor connected to the reservoir but otherwise it's easy to remove but this time i'll just suck it out top it off with new fluid and then bleed the rest of the calipers next using that four fluid that four brake fluid top it off And we're going to proceed to bleeding this baby. Like so. So you want to start with the right rear wheel. And I have my vacuum pump right there ready. I'm about to, the bleeder is loose. So I'm going to attach this puppy like that. Look, it's already flowing slowly, but now we're going to look at that. We're gonna be sucking this fluid out into this. Look at that, it's slowly going. Might take a little bit, but it's going. Look at that. So, might take a little bit of time, you know, comparing to if you had a, another person helping you, but that's okay. Also make sure these things are tight, you know. The best thing is to have them tight. So, this fluid is pretty nasty. So it's slowly um, building up in the, the little cup. But yeah, I just gotta keep pumping. For those of you wondering, no. This is not on cinder blocks. I've got this rubber pad there, so she's all good. Don't forget to keep checking your fluid level. It's 
still good. Nine millimeter. Go ahead, open this back up. Look at that dirty fluid flowing out. Time to add more fluid. Let's add more fluid. Old fluid can be tossed now. Slowly but surely the fluid is becoming more clear. So that's awesome. You know, this takes this side takes a while because you know there's literally like a long brake line going from the front to the back of the car and carrying all this fluid so i gotta change it cheers All right, so the fluid is coming out clear now. So we're gonna go ahead and finish this side and move on to the left rear of this car. Close the bleeder. Clean it up a little here. Okay, and uh, next thing, where's that cap? I'm gonna reinstall it. All right, I loosened that bleeder screw, attached a vacuum pump to this, and we're gonna be pumping this guy out. Getting all that nasty fluid out of there. I don't know, who knows when the last brake fluid flush was done on this baby. So yeah, we're gonna be working on that now. Almost done uh, bleeding this side. Uh, and this side won't take too long because both rear wheels are on the same brake line. It's just there's a union in the middle and they split into both sides. So it won't take too long to finish bleeding this. The fluid is almost clear now. Yeah, it's just a couple more pumps and we'll be good. Right now, after emptying the reservoir. Okay, so I'm getting clear fluid. So we're almost done. Um, you know, flushing this side. Everything is wrapped up on the side. All right, now I turn the wheel all the way this way so I can get to the caliper easier on this side. Yeah, I'm about to go ahead and remove or loosen up that uh, fitting and start pumping on this side. Okay, now it's all attached, the bleeder is loosened up, and we're gonna go ahead and start pumping this baby. Flowing. If you discover that it's not flowing, or it's like, kinda, yeah. So, open the bleeder valve a little more. So just topped it off and now uh, we already got clean fluid coming out. That's nice. This side is done. We can move on to the next one. Now we're doing this side. I already have it attached right there. So I'm about to start pumping this bad boy. Let's see. Look at that, all that nasty fluid coming out. I'm going to top it off one more time. There we 
go. Ah, it feels so good having fresh brake fluid. Amazing. All right, after the breathing of the brakes, this is what we got. Bunch of nasty fluid. And look how clean this thing is now. Amazing. Now I'm just waiting on the cap and strainer to get dry because I power washed them. And that's going to be it, guys.